All right, I'm gonna show you a potential problem and solution uh, running Metcagar mags out of an XD pistol. This happens to be an XD40 Tactical running in Gen 1 uh, HS2000 slide and 9mm, uh, but I don't think it would really make a difference uh, as long as you're running Metcagar mags out of a XD frame, um, at least in 9mm. Uh, so. The mag wheel is going to rub a little bit on the magazine, so that kind of encumbers magazines dropping freely. Um, but here's the issue I'm having. So I'm going to take a Metgar mag, okay, 9mm Metgar mag, insert it into an empty weapon, make sure it clicks into place, drop the mag. There's no even, there's not even a click. That's just the button moving. I'm not feeling the mag disengage. I actually have to pull down put tension on the magazine and then I'll hear it click free. You heard that click? But not only does it not drop, you can't even shake it out. You have to rip this mag out uh, with an empty slide. Now, if I or lock back slide in an empty magazine. Now if I lock the slide forward or send the slide forward, it will throw the magazine out. But when will I ever have my slide forward on an empty mag? Probably not nearly as commonly as I would with a locked back slide. So I will lock the slide back again on the holster. Stock XD9 magazine. Listen. Here it clicks, see it drop a little bit. It's rubbing a little bit on the magazine well, but I think without the magazine well that would fall free. Um, but you can hear it click. And you see it move a little bit and just a flick of my pinky, it comes on out. If you'll notice, I'll try to get this on camera as best I can doing a cell phone. The Metgar mag, this little portion here, and there's a bar inside the magazine, or inside the magazine well of the weapon, that uh, slides in here is way more narrow than the stock one. This hasn't been reprofiled, that's how it comes stock. So what I did, just take a cutting wheel um, on a Dremel tool, let's see if I can get that to focus, but I think you get the idea, right? Uh, and just widen that a little bit. It's not quite as wide as maybe the stock one would be, but it's much more wide than um, the regular Metgar mag would be. So now when I put this magazine in there, the bar is not putting so much pressure on that piece, and with a lockback weapon and empty magazine, it throws the mags out. Um, and it runs just as reliably as it did before. So. Uh, your mileage may vary with all this. Maybe your Metgar mags drop free just as they are, but if they don't, that is the culprit. You just need to widen this out. I didn't do any super duper file work. I just cut it out with a, a cutting wheel, even cleaned it up with a cutting wheel, and then just put a little bit of polishing compound and cleaned up the edges where they wouldn't cut me when I was loading magazines. The end.